Hello all and welcome to another Phoenix Friday. This time it is going to be Dinosaur Adventure, which I'm pretty sure is just like a copy of Land Before Time, but horribly done. So without further ado, enjoy the movie and I'll catch you all at the end of it all. Enough already. Rubbish. Just the opposite. Everyone should come here. They should all see our child be born. After all, it's our first one. So what? It's nothing that unusual. Oh, excuse me. Of course, it's something special. After all, it's the first egg that Dino has ever laid. The rest were all brought in by the stork. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> Quiet. I think something moved inside the egg. No, no, it's too early. It'll take longer. Oh, goodness. Here come even more. What should I offer them to eat? Must have birth always entails so much work. Oh, gosh. A beautiful egg. Bound to be a beautiful Dino. I polished it every day. I heard that it's good for the baby inside. Rubbish. Modern nonsense. You just have to leave it in the sun. That's on us. So that's what you have to do. There just isn't any more. <laughs> and now it's about time. Oh, is it coming too late? Well, it's a little overdue. But no problem. I can help it along. <sighs> Are you crazy, Cree? You could hit his head. Oh, a little smack on the back of the head never hurt anyone. It's hatching. See, look. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Ah. A boy. Look here, everyone. It's a boy and a really big one. It's always beautiful. Another little Dino. But when I think about the way they are when they grow up, no, no, I don't dare think about that. No, no. No, 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 my little one. Come to me. I'm your mama. You better do as she says. Look, she's much bigger than I am. And if she gets mad, oh, oh dear, oh, dearie me. <laughs> do you have a name for him? Yes, if he was a girl, I would have named her Tia. But the uh, thing is, the boy's name is Tio. Oh, well, there are nice names, but he'll be able to live with it. And now, why <laughs> did I gather all this food? Hey, let's feed and celebrate. Come on, party time. Yeah, party time. <laughs> And that is just what the Dinos did. The little Dino didn't get much of what was going on. He was rather tired from being passed around so much. Cree spread his wings over him, and Teo went to sleep immediately. Soon, the Dino baby turned into a really cheeky Dino boy. He loved to play with Cree, because although Cree was much older, he was up for all the pranks they got up to. Tio! Tio! I didn't mean you as your name, Tio. Where is he hiding? Why? Stupid question. I want Tio here immediately with no whys and wherefores. But, 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 but if I knew why he should come here, I could go and tell him. Yeah. <laughs> if you just want him to come here so you can scold him, well, go and fetch Tio now. Aren't we authoritarian? Never heard anything about modern upbringing? Just you wait, I'll give you authoritarian. <laughs> you see, flying does have its advantages. Tio! 
Why are you shouting at me like that? I haven't done anything wrong today, at least as far as I can remember. <laughs> He's not shouting back you. I got your dad a little angry. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, you get cheekier and more impossible by the day. Well, I can afford to. No one can get me. <laughs> I wish I could fly. That's all we need. You hang around too much with Kree as it is. He has a bad influence on you. You see, you're getting rebellious already. Ah, but we'll soon put a stop to it. I have decided that you will go to Aura's school for three hours every day. Oh, damn! I'm much too little for that. Shucks. What's wrong, Tio? Did you have a fight with your father again? Yes, Papa says I have to go to Oro's school every day. He's ancient. It's bound to be boring, isn't it? That it won't be. Oro can tell fascinating tales. I don't believe it. You can believe me. I was also taught by Oro. If I promise to go to Oro tomorrow, then I want to play with Cree now until it gets dark, okay? Of course, my dear. But go a little way off. Papa doesn't like to see you two together. I don't want to go to Oro. What if he just bosses me around and scolds me? Ah, I don't know about you, but I have it easier. Ah, I would just fly away. <laughs> That's it. I've got it. You simply show me how to fly, and then if the lesson is too boring, I'll just up and fly away. Mm, no Dino has ever come up with that idea before, so I've no idea if it'll work or not. But we could at least try it. I suppose so. We could try it. But it won't work without wings. That much is certain. We have to get you some wings. Yeah, that's what we need. I already have some. They're nice and big. They should do nicely. Instead of flying, Tia's father will spank him for lying. Rubbish, Peek. If you don't tell anyone, no one will know that I'm practicing flying. Hmm. Doesn't look bad. Now pay attention. I'll show you how it's done. And then you imitate me, okay? Okay. Stronger, you must be stronger with the wings. And more elegantly. Elegance with elegance. Tiv invites the bride to dance. Shut up, Peek, or you're a freak. <laughs> Why in the name of Tyrannosaurus Rex does it work for you and not for me? Maybe it's hard for beginners to start from the ground. Ah, uh -huh. I think my first attempt was out of my nest. That was quite easy as far as I can remember. Makes sense to me. Can you take me to your nest? Yeah. Do we have to? To start from a stone, that's how it's done. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard anything sensible from you. Come, Tio. That rock over there looks good to me. And now what? Stop rushing. I'm trying to remember. When I think of it, mm, you just run off, beating with your wings. Yeah, that's the worst, I think. Here comes the old man. <gasps> Tio, wake up. Your father's headed this way. What the hell is going on here? Tio! Uh, oh, Tio fell. I did not ask you. I asked Tio. What's wrong with you? Come on, get up. On my head. What's this green stuff on your arms? Tio is trying to learn to fly. That's what made him cry. Learn to fly? Creo, what have you been up to with my son? Ah, just wait till I catch you in a dark corner. You will get the damn good beating. Awa, awa. My spikes are so fine, you'll prick yourself and I'll end up crying. T 
Teal's father carried him home. He felt very nauseous and had a terrible headache. He had a light concussion. A few days later, after he had recovered, he experienced a massive thunderstorm that could be heard through the whole valley. But the worst thing for Tia was that during this time, Cree had not been allowed to visit him once, which he missed him. That was the last time that you played with Cree. He better not show his face around here again. No, that's it. And who should I play with then? Play with Fa. She's the same age as you are. But I can't stand her. She always knows everything better. She also goes regularly to Oro's class. From tomorrow, you'll be going there together. Now off to bed with you. to see you anymore and as soon as tomorrow I have to go to Oro's class with that b lizard fall. It won't be so bad. Oro's okay. You'll see. But I want to keep on playing with you. Well, just we'll just meet secretly. That's more exciting anyway. <laughs> Two pupils that don't like one another. Well, at least there's no danger that they'll be chit-chatting instead of listening to me. Okay, come along, kids. How is your concussion to you? It wasn't that bad at all. I don't feel a thing now. Oh, good. Where did we stop yesterday, Far? With geography. Oh, that's right, geography. We were talking about the mountains back there. Yes, about volcanoes. Right. What is so special about volcanoes, Tio? Um, uh, they're rather high, and it's very strenuous to get to the top, right? Well, you are stupid. They're special because they can spit fire and ashes, and then hot lava flows down the mountains from the side. Rubbish. No, it's not. Have you ever seen it? Uh, no, but, uh, so there, you're just showing off. No, Fa is right. Volcanoes don't always spit fire, just sometimes. The last time is very long ago. It makes me a little restless, you know? We may be due for a larger eruption soon. Can't one tell beforehand? Yes, my Uncle Ugg said that there are signs, but at the moment, there aren't any. The signs that we have so far been watching are rather unreliable. But I want to show you something. I have invented a machine that will warn us weeks ahead when our volcano is about to erupt. Yeah. Oh, Oro invents great things, but the others just call it schlings. You're in the way, Peek. Move over to the side. All I want to do is hear and not try to disturb, my dear. Now, pay attention. With this funnel, the machine can sense Earth movements long before we can. And the rumbling that the machine hears creates waves, and then the Earth room is under us. The machine begins to paint curves. Always? Of course, not only when there are earth movements. If nothing moves, then nothing happens. Oh. It works! Your invention works! Of course it works, you silly boy. But that means that the volcanoes will erupt in the near future. And that's what's gonna happen! Yes! With fire and everything? Great! Don't you have any sense at all in your thick Dino skull? If the volcano erupts, it will be a catastrophe. Go and fetch your parents. We have to discuss what has to be done. What are you doing here? I thought you were in class with Oro. Bunking school, are you? 
No, I was at school. But we discovered something. We discovered that the volcano will erupt, and Aura wants you to come to him. A volcano eruption? That's all we need now. That I've just renovated our home. That's probably not that bad. Let's first hear what Aura has to say. Is it safe? Has something special happened? Everyone's running to Oro. Yes, I wanted to tell you about it as well. Oro says that the volcano will erupt. It's really exciting. Come along. with that strange construction over there. Not at all. He can't prove anything. We can only tell by watching the sky. The way we learned to do from our parents. They all knew how to do it. They understood. Oh, oh, you're as stupid as you always were. Haven't you learned anything? Science has made progress. One day we'll all be able to fly. Fly? <laughs> Everybody? Oh, please, no. Is that true? When can we all fly? There, you hear it? To be able to fly. Now we know what to think of Oro's new machine. Let's go far. I've heard enough of this. Wait a minute. And I'll show you. It's just a trick. I don't intend to waste my time with it. Believe me, it's no trick. The next weeks, maybe even days, the volcano will erupt. We must get away from here. <gasps> because it will destroy everything. Oh dear, oh dear, we must all leave to a strange place, I do believe. Can I take my catapult with me? We're not doing anything at all at the moment. We have to think about all of this first. I suggest we sleep on it and talk things over in the morning. But what if Furrow's right? Right here! They don't believe me. Although it's so simple, a child could see it. It's quite obvious. I would also rather stay here. Isn't there anything you can turn on your machine? Uh, what I mean is, oh, all right, one never knows, but there's no need to bite my head off. Oh, believe me, Cree, if we stay here, very few of us will survive. The Dinos consulted back and forth. Should they believe what Oro had said and go off in search of a new home, or should they stay? They just couldn't decide, and because it was more convenient to leave everything as it was, they soon forgot Oro's warning. Then, including Tio's father, he had, however, not forgotten Cree and Tio's flight lessons, and so they still were not allowed to see each other. Where are you going off to? We want to take a trip to the Crater Lake and play with the crocodiles. And who is we? Um, we... Oh, that'll be, um, uh, Peek and me. Okay, but don't let Peek turn you onto rhyming. I don't want you talking in rhyme this evening. No, no, to be a poet and not even know it. <laughs> that little devil. Hey, Cree! Oh, great! So you managed to get away. Did anyone see you? Huh? Mama caught me, but I said I was going swimming with Peek. Hopefully people be his usual lazy self and not stroll over to your house. Anyway, it'll all work out fine. If it doesn't, I'll just say that Peek forgot our appointment. Anyone would believe that. You're right. He's a bit of a dozy as our Peek. But come on, we've got a long way to go. Hmm. 
We're getting visitors. Cree's coming. And where Cree is, Teal can't be far behind. Shall we give them a fright? Sure, let's give them a fright. Where are they all? Hey, is anybody there? Ah! Ah! Did you expect me to jump? You can't scare me, let alone eat me. You'd crack your teeth on my tough hide. Hmm. Party pooper. You could at least have pretended that you got a fright. Okay, next time. How about it, Cree? Shall we jump into the water? Hey, water! No, 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 I'd rather step here. What was that? What's that? I don't see anything. The, the ground moved. I don't feel a thing. How could you know that the ground is moving if you're up in the air? Sit down on the ground. I still don't feel anything. Hey, hey, stop that! What's going on? Hey! <laughs> you see? Did you notice something now? Oh, 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 this is no game. Mammoth mayhem, look at that! Here. If we have to stay in here much more, I'll turn into a fire lizard. Of course, the crocodile didn't turn into a fire lizard, although the friends had to stay in the cave for many days. They were terribly thirsty and hungry. One of them was always putting his head out and then pulling it back in quickly. The air was so stifling that one could hardly breathe, and it was still raining ash. Finally, after almost a week, the air cleared, and everybody could breathe again. Oh, my goodness, what a mess! Oh, why doesn't anyone clean it up? Huh? Kree, where are you? What's happening? Kree, can we come out? Is there anything to eat out there? Is the ground still hot? Slowly, slowly, one thing at a time. First thing, the ground is only slightly hot, and you can almost breathe normally, but that's about all. Yeah. Nothing is like it was. Look, everything's destroyed. Where are the trees and the ferns? There's nothing left to eat. <laughs> oh, come on, stop crying. What am I to do? I'm sure they're all dead. Cree, we're all alone in the world. Well, somehow, I don't know. Oh, it does look pretty bad. Over there! That's where I always slept. Yeah, and I was born on that tree over there. If we'd only listened to Oro. 
if, 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 what was if? Well, we didn't. And if we had, we couldn't have stopped it. Stopped it. But we could have got away in time to look for a new home. Oro, you're alive. Where are the others? Uh, I don't know. But when I look at all this, oh, oh. Do you mean, do you mean that my parents are dead? Well, who can say? I hope they could flee in time. And you? What are you still doing here? When my machine got wilder, I went away and hid in a cave until now. Then you just left the others in a lurch? Is that what you did? No, I didn't. Uh, just a couple of hours before the eruption, I went and warned them. But they just argued about whether they should believe me now or not, so I went. We have to go look for them. They may be alive. Tears right. We can't stay here anyway, so we might as well start looking. We would love to help you look, okay, but we have to find water urgently. It would be of great help if we knew which direction to take. Can't your machine help us? No, I fear we'll have to take a non-scientific approach. I'll take four sticks. The shortest is south, the next shortest east, then north, and the longest is west. Who wants to draw? I want to, I want to. Then draw. It's the longest. West. West. Tio, Cree, and Oro set out. It was just as Oro feared. Not all the Dinos had managed to get away in time and were dead. But luckily, Tio's parents were not among them. But they couldn't find a trail or anything to eat. They got hungrier and weaker. They were about to give up when Cree came flying up, all excited and started to tell them. Tio, Oro, quick! There's something to eat over there! Grass, not much, but very green! And anyway, grass! immediately. <laughs> How would you like your grass back again, huh? Wouldn't be very appetizing if I was to give it back to you. Oh, we didn't want to take anything from you, but uh, we're so hungry and we haven't eaten anything for weeks. Only a little more, then we'll move on. They haven't eaten that much, and I feel sorry for the little one. He probably doesn't have any parents. Very well, but don't let me catch you a second time. You're a cute ape. What's your name? Rasha. Where do you three come from? Oh, we live directly under the volcano. When it erupted, we were separated from the other dinos. And now we're looking for Tio's parents. You didn't see any dinos come by, by chance? No, you're the first. Dinos we've seen since the eruption. Maybe Cree took the wrong stick, and we should be going in another direction. Maybe, but we can't turn around now. We have to get our strength back first. What do you say, Dragon? They could stay here till they get, they're recuperated. There's enough for us as well. Now don't cry, my little one. You can stay with us, and when you're feeling better, you can continue your search. That would really be the best for us. Apart from that, I can continue working on my invention. What invention is that? I invented a machine that predicts the eruption of the volcano. And why? And why did you not predict this terrible eruption? I did, but no one believed me. Explain it to me exactly, and if you convince me, then build me a machine as well, and you can stay as long as you like. Oh, come on, kid. Now it gets boring. Let's go play. Come on.
the three friends felt more and more at home with the ape every day. Oro and Dragon worked almost the whole day on the machine, and Kala mothered Tia whenever she could. It was only the night before he went to sleep that Tio got sad thinking about his parents. Not even Kala could help him hear. One day, Creek came back from an excursion with Raja, all excited. Tio, Oro, Tio, come here! What's wrong, Creek? You're quite beside yourself. Raja, Raja told me that. Oh, oh well, you tell them, Raja. I told Cree that when we ran into the cave during the great volcano eruption, I was almost crushed by a great big foot. A giant foot? How gigantic. I don't know, but the foot was bigger than me. A dino. It must have been a dino. Do you remember in which direction the foot was running? No, I've forgotten. It's quite simple. If the foot that nearly crushed Raja was running, then it was running in the same direction that we were. We have a trial. Cree, Oro, my parents are alive. Take it easy, kid. All we know is that one Dino is alive. But you're right. It is time to move on. Tio, Oro, and Cree bid the apes farewell. Oro gave the gorillas an exact copy of his machine. The apes promised him to turn on the machine every day and to run for safety should it start drawing curves. After Kala made them a big bundle of food, they moved on, heading west. Cree tracks. Where? Right in front of you. You're right. Tio's right. Thus, are without a Dino tracks. Oro, we found them. We found my parents. Oh, the tracks are quite fresh, but why haven't they moved on? There's hardly anything to eat here. Who cares? The main thing is that we're they're alive. No, no, there's something I don't like here. Something's not right. I see them! I see them up there! That's them! <laughs> What's wrong with them? It looks as if they wanted to attack us. Well, I knew that something was wrong. Cree fly there and see what's happening. They can't hurt you. They're always me. And if they've gone crazy, had too much hot ash or whatever. Please, Cree. Okay. But I want a nice thank you when I come back. If I come back. <laughs> Just as I thought. I just knew it was you, Ark. Do you still know me? Look, it's me, Cree. We don't want you here. Get lost. What spider bit you? You're not all there. Is that the way you lead a long lost friend? Friends? Friends? You just came here because you want to eat. There's hardly enough for us. And for you, there's nothing. Nothing. This boring, dried-out stuff here? Yeah, we don't want to eat that anyway. <sighs> Forget the dyboring boring stuff. We've got used to something better there. Oh. Oh. oh, my goodness. You haven't become meat eaters, have you? Shame on you. Just fills with joy that I can see you, boy. What luck! At least you haven't changed. Are Tio's parents also here? Where are they hiding? Huh? 
so. Some time ago there was a fight, and now the feeling isn't right. Yeah, I can see that. But what is with Theo's parents? Where are they? Are they alive? <laughs> Don't think so. They refused to eat meat. They moved on. <laughs> they really thought there was a place with enough plants to eat. <laughs> but I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe they were right. Maybe there's a place in the West where there's enough to eat. Ah, shut up! The volcano destroyed everything. It's all the same as here, everywhere. I've had enough. One's life is not safe here. If I hang around any longer, I could end up as dinner. Ha! Cree! Cree! And what did they say? They definitely sniff too much ash. They're not quite right in the head. Where are Tio's parents there? No, no, what luck. Argonese cronies, they've become meat eaters. What? Meat eaters. And my parents? I don't know exactly. I didn't understand it all. Peek was rhyming about fight and feeling right or not or something and... You know, something like that. Peek? Is Peek with him? Has he also become a meat eater? I don't think so. He seemed quite normal. I mean, as normal as Peek can be, that is, you know? <laughs> and what do we do now? Uh, I'll, I'll have to go to Arg myself. Somehow i find out where your parents have moved on to. And be careful, don't let anyone get eaten. We still need you. <laughs> oh, just calm down. I know that you can shout. Where are the other dinos? If you insist on knowing, they moved on to the west. But they have starved to death by now, I'm sure. <laughs> no, they haven't. They will have found food further west, and I mean plants. But your meat eating is going to do you in, that's for sure. No way. We get stronger all the time. But you always know everything better. <laughs> ha, you know it all. Go west if you like. We're staying here, aren't we? Uncle Ark, maybe. Be quiet. You don't understand anything, do you? Well, okay, but it's your own fault. What about Peak? I'm really told far. We're coming to you tonight. Okay, we'll wait for you. What's all this whispering? What are you up to? Get lost, Oro. I don't want to see you again. Oro told Trio and Cree what he had heard from Arg after Dark, Fa, and Pete slipped away and joined their friends. They decided not to sleep, but to march the whole night. They wanted to be as far away as possible when Arg awoke. As the sun rose, they saw step by step the area was getting friendlier. In spite of this, Teal had to annoy Fa. I'm surprised that you didn't stay with the meat eaters because you always do what your uncle tells you. And you, what your father says. He didn't listen to Oro either. He doubted Oro's machine was anything. But I wasn't as against it as you were. Stop, Stop it, you two. Now, none of you believe me a little more or less doesn't make any difference. Hey, come on, faster. There's really fresh water up ahead. And as clear as glass. And wonderful green plants. <laughs> Maybe they even have crocs here. Peek has found us a real paradise. Oh, you're right, Peek. It looks wonderful. Almost
feels like home. If my parents came here, why wouldn't they stay? I was wondering that too. Look, Tio, it almost looks like a crocodile. I'm looking for my parents. I actually thought that I'd find them here somewhere. Big Dino's much bigger than you? Yes. There were big dinners here lately, but my cousin told me that there was much, much more to eat around the corner. That must have been my parents. Oh, no, Kree, we found them. Hooray, hooray, we're here. And that we're happy is quite clear. Very. What? Oh, just forget it. <laughs> Tia the second. Who are you? Tia the second. Are you deaf? Why the second? I have a brother, but he's dead. That must be you. The little one is bound to be your brother. Yeah, of course. He's the spitting image of you. <laughs> spitting image. That's not true. I was hatched out of an egg, not spat out. Of course not. Cree just means that you look just like him. Mm. Well, come on. Show us where your parents are. What's wrong, Gio? Aren't you happy that we found your parents? I suppose so. But maybe they won't want me anymore. Or why did they make another Dino that looks like me? When your parents have a new kid, out you go on the dustbin lid. Peek! How can you talk such rubbish? Most of us have brothers and sisters, and our parents love us all. Come to you! Oh, come on, cheer up. We found such a lovely new home. We should have gone back. We should have kept on looking for Tio. Who knows? Maybe he's still alive. He and Cree were far enough away from the volcano. That was some party. When the parents embraced Tio after such a long time, only Fa was a little sad. Tio had found his parents again, but she was all alone. So Tio's mother took her in her arms and promised to look after her from then on. Even Tio the second was happy because he had found a new friend. Will you show me how to fly? Don't you dare, Cree! Later, later, when it's dark, there's a rock over there. But, but, psst, don't tell anyone. I promise that Cree, that Cree, you will never change like me. <laughs> there you have it, everyone. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was oh quite a odd one, but they're all odd. I should I, I, I should say. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next video.